Things just weren't right up in Canada. Random acts of violence were popping up like weeds, and the northern lights, well, they just weren't right. One night they'd be brighter than ever, and the next, gone. In Nunavut Bay, I overheard talk between Jean Besson and his mysterious partner Arpeggio. Somehow, those two are behind it all. Tracking the source of the disturbance was easy. By simply following the lights, we were led north to an immense lumber camp. The sheer number of fallen trees advertised Jean Besson's presence and that he was in possession of the clockwork talons. The Thievius Raccoonus makes numerous references to the talons slicing through plates of steel. A skilled lumberjack like Besson could clear a forest in hours while wielding the artifacts. Those talons have got to go. Both to finally do away with clockwork and to save the environment from his twisted sense of progress. The world just doesn't need to make space for another strip mall. What changed from... Are we in a, another... Well guys, Jean Bisson has unknowingly thrown down the gauntlet. With the Clockwork Talons as a trophy, we'd be fools not to participate in his lumberjack games. Fortunately, due to frequent avalanches, a log chopping guide was frozen in a wall of ice not far from our position. Sly, you're in charge of acquiring the book. I'm sure it will prove invaluable. Now we're all aware that Arpeggio's blimp is coming to pick up another battery. To sneak aboard without incident, I'd recommend we pull a Trojan horse and stow away inside the battery. However, the location of the device is still a mystery. We need some inside information. So working together, you two will infiltrate the Moose Guard's secret RC combat club. Those guys all work in the lighthouse. If you win the battle, I'm sure they'll talk. Despite his antique mind, Jean Bisson's no fool. To keep tabs on him, we'll need to bug his house, steal the radio tags off local bears, and then jerry-rig them into a sensor array. It's a challenging set of tasks, and that blimp's on its way. Let's get to work! I'm pretty sure I got this. I regret everything and nothing. chopping that might be useful for the lumberjack games. Unfortunately, it's frozen deep in an ice wall. How are we supposed to get to it? <laughs> Wait for more global warming? That industrial laser is used to cut through petrified logs. If it could be bounced out that window, with your help, I should be able to harness its energy to melt the ice wall and free the bug. How do I redirect that thing? There should be a switch on the other side of this wall. Throw it and then head outside. So that means I leave the level. That's at risky. Oh my god. What in the Tom and Jerry type laugh? Going. Where am I? What is my objective? I'm a bit lost. Oh. I had to cheat my way up, it didn't work. Oh. If you don't get your thieving self up here. Okay. Oh. Where? 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 This is clearly here for a reason, right? So, like, what is. Hey, 
I... with the crystals I put in your pouch. I see. I just walk to where the laser stops, place a crystal, and it'll bounce the beam to a new position. That log chopping book is as good as ours. Stand clear, Sly. Something else is coming out of the deep freeze. What the I've hell never that? seen such a majestic creature. So full of life, so ready to live. So much for that. He's back in the deep freeze. Safe. <laughs> Fell back in the water. Cheer up, pal. We got the log chopping guide. Yo, that's crazy. He went from being extinct to resurrected and extinct again. After reading through the log chopping guide, it's become painfully clear that to win in the lumberjack games, we'll have to cheat. Now, I've constructed a plan that hinges around us acquiring an eagle's egg which is more difficult than you'd think. First, Murray needs to lure a bear into taking out the local oil mains. Once destroyed, the pressurized oil should ignite and create updrafts, which Sly will then use to paraglide over to the eagle's nest, grab an egg, and then head back to the safe house. Thanks to Murray's undercover work in the RC Combat Club, we've learned that the Northern Light Battery is hidden in a silo nearby. The battery needs some serious modification if we're going to hide inside it to sneak onto Arpeggio's blip. First, we'll short the battery with grapple lines on local boats. Then, we'll all break into the lighthouse and sever the power flow to the battery. That way it won't recharge. Given my electrical engineering background, this plan has a 97% chance of success. Pretty good, huh? Oh, there you are. Solid work, Murray. Now that the oil lines are exposed, Sly's all set up for a paragliding job off the lighthouse. That lighthouse is the conduit for collecting the northern lights. We need to shut it down, or the silo battery will continue to fill with energy making it impossible for us to stow away inside. So, you want me to go in there and bust the thing up? Sounds like work for Murray. Actually, <laughs> this job will require all three of our skills. The front door is locked, and you're the only one capable of climbing up to the hatch on top. Once inside, sneak down to the ground floor and let us in. We'll help you finish the job. All right, see you on the ground floor. Am I going the right way? Is this where I'm supposed to go? That's what you get. Wow. So, what am I supposed to do? Bye bye. 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 I just died. Did I just die? He died. Oh, oh. What's the move? Hey there, all you boys work in the lighthouse. The lumberjack games are coming, so make sure to practice up on your log chopping. Ice wall climbing and log rolling. This is a great event to honor those pioneer lumberjacks who paved the way. Without them, we wouldn't have the wholesale clear cut techniques we enjoy today. That's it. Your axe is sharp. Dude, I forgot that the charge swing was a thing. 
Like, why do they... Why do they add such good abilities in games that sometimes you really don't get the right opportunity to use, to use it? Is that my remote? Why does it only do it with this? No, it just, it just it only does it with that. I don't get it. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, buddy. What's up with these angles? Oh, that was easy. Um, oh. I'm over here trying to interact with Thanks, it. pal. Just let me at that Northern Light Attractor. It'll be slagging minutes. Not quite that simple, Murray. I'll reverse the energy flow from the control computer uh -huh. while you lift the main circuit breaker. That should give Sly a short window of opportunity to climb up the power lines and overload the system from the top. Up, down, up, down. They should put an elevator in this place. We did it! The collection mechanism is overloading! In order to overcome Jean Bisson and the Lumberjack games, we'll need to enlist the help of the giant Canadian eagles. Their nest is out on that iceberg. Steal one of the eggs, and then bring it safely back to the safe house. We'll use it to direct the eagle's protective instincts against Bisson. Sure, sounds easy enough. Except for the part where I have to swim a half a mile through freezing water. Why swim right. when you can paraglide? With the oil mains all destroyed, the pent-up combustible materials have just caught fire. I see. The updraft created by the flame should give me some extra altitude. Just make sure to stay out of the fire. Get too close and old Grizzle Face will be eating barbecued raccoon for dinner. That's a charming image, Bentley. Don't look friendly. No. Oh. This is beyond crazy, bro. Even if the wings touch me, it's over. What? Oh, he got got. That's funny. Weird. That's funny. Great work, Sly. Oh. The lumberjack games are upon us. Now, despite Murray's study of the long chopping guide. None of us are skilled enough to beat John Bassan at his own game. So, though it pains me to say it, we'll have to cheat. Murray, you'll participate in the power log chopping competition. Get us a good score, and then let Bassan up for his turn. While he's chopping, I'll sneak the eagle egg into his trousers, and the protective parents should disturb his axe swings. Sly, given your ascension skills, I've signed you up for the ice wall climb. Oh. We'll keep Hassan from beating your score by pulling him off the wall with some nearby grappling lines. And finally, I'll represent our team in the log rolling competition. With my knowledge of rotational mechanics, we're sure to get a stupendous score. Sly will be in charge of greasing Hassan's logs so he has no chance of beating it. 
If you guys are ready, I say we head out and show these meathead lumberjacks what we're made of. Excuse me, sir. We humble lumberjacks would like to participate in your lumberjack games. Think you got what it takes to win the clockwork talons, eh? Well, I'm sure enough gonna let you play, so long as you pay the entry fee. Much obliged, partner. We'll, uh, just take our positions for the competition. Enjoy the moment while you think you still got a chance. It's as close to winning as you'll ever get. This year's first event will be a power chopping contest. Not like anyone's ever gonna beat my record, but let them try. But watch and learn as I destroy that log without even breaking a sweat. Okay, Bentley, you're on. Plant the eagle egg on Bassan, and the angry eagle parent should swoop in and throw off his axe timing. <laughs> what? I think you better rethink them scores, boys. What you intended to give me was perfect tens, right? So your pink friend knows how to handle an axe. Let's see how you handle a vertical wall of ice. This one. Oh, within the time up. Hey, I can do this in my sleep. Now, if I edit right to the point where I uh, lose, that'll be funny. What the? Oh, what am I doing? Pretty good for a scrawny raccoon. Now, watch and learn as I demonstrate the art of power climbing. to be sawed. You will need to hook it with all three lines to pull him off the wall. It seems you have pulled the wrong cards again. Did I ever tell any of you the story about the judge from last year's competition who mistakenly gave me a score other than ten? Other than I see we're tied with only one event to go. Unfortunately for you, I've saved my best event for the last. The spinning log competition. Okay, looks easy enough. I just need to stay out of the water. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. I'm about to be over for your boy right there. Lock in. Lock in. Lock in. Lock in. Oh my god. This is a pattern I'm not picking up. Yeah, I'm picking up on the pattern. There is, there is, there is. I'll give you that. But now, watch how a skilled log roller does it. This is crazy. John Bisson's got those judges. So I died. I definitely There's died. No way he can lose. You're right, Murray. Those guys need to go. Okay, I'm just making this up on the fly, but what if I were to lure the judges one by one into that cave? Once inside, you two will knock them out and take their clothes. Ingenious! When all three judges have been restrained, we'll be able to don our disguises and take their place at the judges' table. Sly, you can use the alarm clock gadget to distract the judges and lure them into the cave. That's a great plan, Sly, but you'll have to move fast. Once John Bisson finishes the log rolling event, the gig is up. I thought I 
warned you judges about the consequences for incorrect scores. Correct scores. You aren't the judges I hired. It's the scrawny raccoon and his annoying friends. Well, if you want the talent, then why don't you just take them? Oh, my aching head. Those talons really pack a punch. Sly! Murray! Wake up! Yeah, I'm awake, but not so loud. I have a splitting headache. What? Where are we? What's going on? This looks like the sawmill control room. Bisson must have thrown us in here for interrogation later. I, for one, would like to escape before he returns. It looks like we're pretty well sealed in here. Unless... Unless what? Unless you can fit through that hole. I... I think I could squeeze through there. I'll drop down and try to free you guys from the outside. If there's any trouble, I'll call with this walkie-talkie. You might be able to help me with these sawmill controls. While you guys do that, I'll try prying open that steel door. Given enough time, I might be able to make some progress. Maybe. Sounds like a plan. Good luck, Bentley. And remember to shout if I can help you from up here. Bentley, you okay? I can't see you from in here, but I heard the fall. I'll be fine. Just give me a moment to catch my... breath. Oh, God. Oh, no, Candy Bridges. I should have figured a puny turtle like you'd find a rat hole to squirm through. Well, I... just dropped my glasses, had to come pick them up. I ain't like you, boy. <laughs> I ain't stupid. When y'all were unconscious, me and my boys paid a visit to your hideout and found all them clockwork parts. Lucky thing, too. Arpeggio is willing to plunk down a king's ransom for the whole lot. I even threw in the talons. You sold all the clockwork parts? Arpeggio has them all? I wouldn't expect one of your kind to understand the finer points of commerce. You turtles are too stupid to know a woodcutter from a woodchuck. That's it! Time I showed you just how stupid we turtles really are. Sly, on my command! I hear you. Prepare yourself, Bissad! On guard! Okay, Walnut. Get ready for a smushin'. Call out which lever I should pull. On it. Saws! Done. Okay. Logs! Logs! Oh. Oh. Tarnation! I've been done in by some four-eyed turtle. Times have changed. Once again, brains triumph over brawn. Good job, little buddy. That was some fast thinking. Don't forget about me! You... Did a great job opening that door, Murray. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, attention, uh, John Bassan. Arpeggio's uh, carrier blimp will uh, arrive to pick up the Northern Life battery in exactly one minute. Okay, enough patting ourselves on the back. If we're going to get the clockwork parts back, we need to get onto that blimp. The silo battery isn't far. If we run, we can make it. Enough talk. Let's move. Correct. It's way. You know? Oh, look at my boys all together. They're cute. <laughs> As we shut ourselves into the Northern Light battery, it became black. For a few long minutes, we just sat there in darkness. 
No one dared to talk for fear that John Bassan's men might discover where we were hiding. Time seemed to have stopped. And then, we felt it. We were being lifted up to Arpeggio's blimp. It was all so strange. The focus of all our schemes had been stolen from us. Our clockwork parts were gone. Looking around the inside of the battery, I knew we all felt it. Failure. I was twitchy and ready for action. Any action. Bentley tried to make some sense of the situation by drawing up meaningless plans. But Murray? Murray took it the worst. He just sat there sobbing while the team van floated away over the horizon. That van was his life. I knew I'd have to find a way to make it up to him. Oh. Well. Oh, well, well. That was episode seven. So, on the next one, we'll finish eight. Woo! Bye, be good.